Hello yet again and welcome to a lesson on the simple present tense. The simple present tense is one of several forms of present tense in English. The simple present tense is simple to form. Just use the base form of the verb. For example, I take, you take, we take, they take. The third person singular takes an S at the end. He takes, she takes. I will explain this in detail as we go along. So, the simple present form has two main uses. We use the simple present tense to describe an action in the present and also to show an action that takes place regularly. It is used to describe habits, unchanging situations, general truths and fixed arrangements. Let's discuss this in detail and examine when and where exactly this tense is used. The simple present tense is used to express habits. What is a habit? A habit is a routine of behavior that is repeated regularly and tends to occur subconsciously. For example, my father washes his car every other day. This is a habit of my father's and so the simple present tense is used. I could also say, I switch on the radio when I wake up in the morning. Switching the radio is a habit and one that is done subconsciously. We also use the simple present tense when we present general truths. For example, Sri Jayavadanapura Kote is the official administrative capital of Sri Lanka. As you would notice, this is a general truth and it is presented using the simple present tense. We also use this tense to present emotions and wishes. I wish I could climb Sigiriya on my own. Or, I feel so happy about my studies. Both examples are given in the simple present tense. We also use the simple present tense when we give instructions or directions. You can watch one of my previous lessons on giving instructions to get an in-depth idea on this. When giving directions, for example, you may say, walk down the road and take the bend to your right. Walk 200 meters and turn left at the traffic lights. As you can see, I have used the simple present tense to give directions. The simple present tense is also used to express fixed arrangements that are in the present of the future. For example, your exam starts at 9 a.m. Be in your seats by then. To express future time, you can additionally use conjunctions like after, when, before, as soon as, until. As an example, I can say, I can give you the books when you come next Tuesday or after the holiday. Be careful though. The simple present is not used to express actions happening now. Let's look at some examples so that you can refresh your memory on what we have discussed before. For habits, Shanti drinks tea when she wakes up in the morning. She only eats vegetables. They watch clips on the DP Education channel regularly. For repeated actions or events, we catch the train to Colombo every morning. It rains on most days in December. They go to the beach every Sunday. For general truths, water freezes at zero degrees. The earth revolves around the sun. Her mother is Indian. We celebrate Avrudu in April. For instructions or directions, Open the box and take out two slices of cake. You take the 176 and then from Navala, take a three-wheeler to my house. For fixed arrangements, Seneca's brother arrives tomorrow. Our holiday starts on the 18th of December. Before we do some exercises to sharpen our skills in identifying and using the simple present tense, let's look at how the third person singular verb is changed. 
as mentioned before, it always ends in S. He wants, she needs, he gives, she thinks. Negative and question forms use does. The third person of the auxiliary, do, plus the infinitive of the verb. Someone wants ice cream. Does he want strawberry? He does not want vanilla. Also remember that verbs ending in Y. The third person changes the Y to IES. Fly becomes flies, cry to cries. There is an exception. If there is a vowel before the Y, play becomes plays, pray becomes praise. We can also add ES to verbs ending in double S, X, SH and CH. He passes, she catches, he fixes, it pushes. You can get a very brief idea of the simple present tense in your pupil's book in Unit 5. Revision point on page 62. It states that the simple present tense is used for habitual actions. Look at the example given in your pupil's book. They conduct the drama competition every year. Let's do a quick exercise to get you into the habit of identifying and implementing the simple present tense. Let's look at question number one. I blank at the bank. There are some examples given, work, works and working. Well, since it is I, the correct answer should be work. The second question, she live, lives, living with her parents. What do you think the correct answer is? Yes, she lives with her parents. Question three, cows, there's a blank on grass. What do you think the correct answer is? Feed, feeds or feeding? Yes, it's feed. Cows is third person plural and so there is no need for you to use an additional S. The next question, he earn, earns earning a handsome salary. A handsome salary means a good pay or a sufficient deal of money. The answer, especially because the third person singular has been used, is earns. Number five, Janet want, wants, wanting to be singer. That's easy, it's wants. The next question, Saumya blank delicious cookies. The answer should be makes. Question seven, Sonali and her husband blank in Gampaha. Remember that it's Sonali and her husband, so the verb should be conjugated in relation to the third person plural. The answer should be live. Question eight is similar to the previous question. Rohan and Sanya like to play card games. The next one, Sakuna speaks English very well. Question 10, Martin blank for a walk in the morning. The answer should be the second one. Note how you add ES to the verb go. Martin goes for a long walk in the morning. The next question, my grandfather adore, adores adoring his pet dog. The right answer should be adores. To adore something is to love something dearly. In this case, my grandfather loves his dog dearly. And finally, plants blank water and sunlight. This last sentence is a general truth and the answer should be need. Remember, plants is third person plural. I hope today's lesson on the simple present tense has made sense to you. There are more present tenses like the present continuous tense, the present perfect tense and the present perfect continuous tense that will be taught to you. So, if you did find this lesson useful, subscribe to our channel and avail yourselves to a series of other exciting lessons. Have a fantastic day.